Alright, I got like five upvotes or whatever. So this is what I put. What's with the selective hearing? Ooh, ooh, I heard that. Okay, I go, what's with the selective hearing and discussions tab? I posted this, like, at work. This kill time. Oh, my God. We keep beating waves so fast. Boom. Okay, okay. Setting. First window cash register. Me, hi. Did you order the double cheese burger? Only ketchup. Customer, yes, me. Okay, your total is two seventy five. Customer, how much? Me. Two seventy five, slightly louder. Customer, what? I go, me, can you hear me? Did you get the double cheeseburger only ketchup? Customer, yeah, that's my order. I already said that. How much do I owe you? Two seventy five. Hands me twenty dollar bill. Hands me a twenty. Give change. Here's your change. Foo will be at the next window. Have a nice day. Customer drives away. This happens so awesome. Oh, often. Is this a problem for everybody? And they're like, nope, just sounds like a shitty customer. And I'm just sitting there like, dude, especially since you guys... Oh, you're talking about the game. Uh, especially since you guys see me on stream or whatever. Like, regardless of you, if you say yes or no to everything that I say... Uh, regardless if you guys do that, I can hear myself in the videos. And whether you choose or not... Hey, man. Hey, Anime Warrior, are you feeling any better? I've been seeing you change your picture a lot. And then you never really told us what happened with those guys. Like you don't act like you forget. Okay, let's just say I'm a crazy person. Uh, I mean, that's dino, but update, update, update. And then the last time you talked to us, you said your friends were being mean to you. So I was just checking on you. Let's see if things got better. Sweet. Yeah, I want to go for Mochi too. Yeah, that's great news. I don't like that I can see it. Pe people think... I'm just like, uh, people think like when I, when I check you guys on stuff that you do that I'm like always watching, but it's really like, dude, all my electronics just notify me and then I glance and now that memory's in my head. <laughs> like, uh, Dino posted something today. Yeah. Oops. Uh. 
Where is it? Dino posted this today. It says, Xbox becomes the first game console to formally support Discord chat. And I was sitting there like, oh, sweet. I mean, that's cool. That, I was just like, that's cool if it is, but all that does is encourage you to join. Everybody else left the export Xbox Discord. Actually, I'm pretty sure they blocked me. But your good deeds have been noticed by me. Even though you haven't been around, I've been appreciating you liking my TikToks. Hold on. And if you look at TikTok, which by the way, Andre, I found a way I can. Uh, okay, so I had to get on. If here. you if you don't, I I hate, I I'm so angry right now. What the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> Hashtag Pluto TV is free. I, I hate. I hate. I, I hate. <laughs> anyway, um. Uh, look, look, look. So what I'm saying is with uh, Dino, he thinks I'm like looking at him or whatever, but it's really like, where is it? I've been getting like a lot of lock likes as of recently, but he's been definitely liking. Right here, look, see, Dino Gamer liked these two videos recently, and then he did it with later ones. See, there's another one, then that's like all the way down like here, and then more, more before that, and it's kind of like. I'm not really watching. I just periodically check my TikTok and YouTube and my Discord and all that to see how everything's doing, like, from a, an outer lens. And then the things just notify me. And I'm just like, okay, who is it? And it'll be, like, stranger, stranger, maybe a comment, right? And then it'll be, like, Dino or Andre. Well, not really Andre and Log so much anymore, but it, before it was Andre and Log a lot. And I'd be like, thank you. Thank you. I'm uploading all those for a reason. Okay, so that's actually like a long drama thing. So if you don't want to hear all of that, uh, it might be best to just do TLDR, dude. I'll show you the scum wards though and go into it since this infinite's gonna be long anyway. We're only on wave 15. Okay. Um, I don't have him in my DMs because I got a little tilted. Uh, so I actually can't pull. They they didn't say anything in DMs, so it's not that big of a deal. But I can't show you like actual names. But pretty much. Um, actually, I can show spikes, because I've been able to share things before. Never mind, never mind. Okay, anyway. Uh, so... Oh, actually, I can put down the Luffy's and everything. Hold up. put down five I feel like it's only five yeah five and then Zemetsu Okay. Thank you, dude. 
there's a there's actually some funny stuff in there. Those videos go on forever, dude. I'm not gonna plug it now, but I don't. I have been posting since September, and I was at an average of six videos a day on there. Did you know that you can't post more than eight videos every couple every hour, or TikTok goes stop it. Can't go more than eight. Uh, cause I've hit that before many times. It's a secret boss. Okay, so it all started uh, when I was playing Smite streams. Where do I put that? Boom. Boom. I'll just skip. Alright. It all started when... Um, uh, they, when I got affiliation on Twitch. So when I got affiliation in Twitch, when I was playing King Legacy back in September, late, uh, uh, early October, um, ooh, Kuma. When I got all that, um, people started to get kind of weird. Because now money was in the picture, right? Because you can, like, solve and do all that shit. Since money was now, like, something that could happen, everybody kind of got weird because it went from this is a hobby to something now I can make currency off of. And it lo I loved a lot of my friends the wrong way because sometimes, it, it, from what they've told me, to them, it felt like sometimes we couldn't play certain games because it wasn't good for the stream. Like, they got tired of hearing, no, we can't get on that because chat doesn't like that. Even though it was kind of like, we probably shouldn't, but we can do whatever the fuck we want. Alright? So, sometimes I'd be like, I don't want to play that game because that game will actually fry my chat. And right now we got like six people in here. Like, no. Like, right now. It'd be like, we have this many people right now. They'd pl ask to play some baby game that nobody wanted to watch. And I'd be like... I'm going to sit this one out. I'm going to save a chat. Y'all do your thing. And they didn't like that because it was kind of like them, them, me picking chat over them. So that that's how it started. All right? But a month goes in and I'm like, okay, I'll let you guys mod. All right? I let Spike and Gold mod. And as Spike and uh, Gold were being given mod, Toasty flaked because of World of Warcraft, but it seemed like there was, like, another reason why he was done. Zeet flaked, because he was, he just got his own PC. So, we were down those two, and then we were, we still had the kiddos, and Pointless. But Pointless was having sh troubles in his life. Like, uh, his parents were, like, around every corner, kind of taking his money. And no matter how much advice you can give a friend that's going through that, like when I was saying about your situation, I would give him advice, and whether he took it or not, it was kind of like, well, I'm here, I'm listening, this is what I would do in your situation, and none of that was good enough for him. It was kind of like, he wanted to just basically bitch about it. So eventually, he got to the solution, he came to his own solution, and I know you guys see this stuff on TikTok and stuff, it got to the point... Where he was kind of seeing all this stock market stuff, dude. He became like a pyramid schemer, like overnight. And I was playing this. I cut the audio on this so you don't have to hear him baby raising. And it's like too far back. It's too far back for... Minecraft, but I... Shut up. Every time I hear Minecraft or Fortnite, I'm like, those games are old as fucking dirt, dude. Hold on. It is when we were starting to get into this one right here, I think. No, this one, this one, this one. So, yeah, I don't think they're bad by any means, but I just, when I hear stuff about Minecraft and Fortnite, I'm just kind of like, eh, you know, I'm just like, okay, well, those games are kind of boring and old. Uh... But, uh, oh my God, you did not get it. so, oh so God. I did for nobody that knows this, this is, uh, anime riffs 
And in this game, I, I, got, I got a lot of good luck in it. So I pull... <gasps> I pull this. I'm not going to play the whole video. But gold... Gold, like, flamed me. Gold flamed me in this video for being too lucky. Or whatever. And I'm like... Uh, we get we get to the end. Actually, I will play it so you can hear gold. <gasps> oh my God! You did not get it. Oh you my God! God. You not so I'm happy about this. Hold on. No, no, sorry. I'm up and I'm here. Don't. It's proud, 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 I still gotta love it up, dude. Big, 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 big. Hold on. It's right here. Did, did, I, did I get the? Uh, no. Oh no no! It's not this one. Maybe it's uh. It's this one. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. It's right here. Listen. So I get a rare here. So he says go gamble, okay? He tells me to go gamble because I'm like popping off. It'd be like the equivalent for you guys that mainly just play this game. It'd be the equivalent of me getting like mythics like crazy, right? Like as us first starting out. It'd be like me getting mythics like crazy, and then your friend being bent out of shape because they didn't get a mythic, right? Even though this game I haven't gotten any. So, he flamed me, and I'm like, oh, I'm not the gambler of the group. I don't need to gamble. We already got that covered. And Pointless, right after that, he's just like, well, what do you mean by that, right? He's just like, he instantly is just like, oh, this hurts. He might be talking about me. This hurts. And I said, him and Toasty. Because Toasty recre recreationally gambles. Like, I don't think he does it anymore. But he used to put 2k on the side because he was doing so well with money. Do the slots for shits and gives. Lose all of his money every time. Never winning any. And if he did win any, like, if he went up plus a k or something, it'd all go to the gambling and he'd lose it all. Like, gambling is still trash. Um, but he would do that. And then Pointless would do the stock market. And not make any money either. I was like, oh, that's you guys. He, I was just like, you and Toasty. And he's just like, what do you mean? And I'm like, you you and the stocks and him with the, uh... Uh, with the actual gambling. And he's just like, what the fuck? And he got, like, so mad. And it was kind of like, yo, bro. Gambling is, like... Basically saying something is like a round luck, right? And the odds are against you. And he didn't like hearing that because he was kind of putting all his eggs in one basket with it. So after I had said that comment, our friendship was over. That's how, that's how much of a glass house this guy was in. Exactly. But he, I actually made a video. Toasty goes into like the thing, cause, cause Toasty called back. But uh, I actually posted a video because Toasty has, like, a degree in economics and stuff like that. I think I like, a master's PhD or something. He goes into, like, what you should actually do with money and how you're supposed to do something like that. Where this guy was taking advice from, like, co-workers, right? Like, people that are in the same city situation as him and just asking around. And it's, like, his fun little hobby. And you guys need to understand, this motherfucker told me not to stream. Because it was just like, there's a lot of people on the planet in the stream. Like, what makes you any different? Like, take the take the L. So this guy had told me to throw away what I was doing in favor of, like, staying on track with my job. Yet, when I throw it kind of back in his face playfully, he ends the friendship right there. Like that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. When you were telling me your stuff about your friends or whatever, dude, you know how many friends I've gone through? Like, I've I've had a lot of friends in my life, dude. I've, I, dude, I've had a lot of chatters. I was just giving fucking, uh, what's his name? Mick Steven? I was just giving him a hard time. I was just like, dude, I don't even want to, I don't even want to do the adding process because the amount of chatters that have come in just because they're bored one day and want to play because they have nothing better to do. They play until they're bored of the game and then I, I, they're no longer a chatter. They are, they remove me when they're bored and they unfollow and everything. And I'm just kind of like, well, why, why do I even bother? You know? The, that's the, that was my point. But when he was in our game, I was like, cool, I don't even have to add you. We, you can just join us. 
Because we were going to play the infinite anyway. So I, I, I think the best thing is to just do stuff that's comfortable with your friends. But I have, like, tried to do stuff to make it so that we don't lose friends. Yeah, yeah. No, his wording of it is, like, it doesn't matter if you stream all day. It doesn't matter if you stream stuff that's unique or, or do all this other crap. It's just not really going to work. So I wouldn't even do it. But I found it fun. Like... Even though you guys, are, like, this has been a long time since there's been a couple of y'all in here, I still find it fun playing games, recording it, uploading the videos on YouTube, and then recording funny things that happen to me on here and putting it on the internet. Because I can go back to it and reflect it. It's, it's like looking at old photos. Like, think of a, of, a, of a mom that takes photos of everything, like your baby pictures and all that, and recollecting on those moments. So I can go back at any point in time of all the gaming I've done in the past year, and anything cool or funny that's happened, I can go back and enjoy that again. So even even if there's, like, no cloud, it's still fun to me to do. And he was just, like, tossed that aside for McDonald's, I guess. Which I, I have, like, with finances, yes, that probably is going to happen. But that's my choice, not his. And it's just, like, he gets to choose if he wants to be a, a gambler on the stock market that he doesn't know anything about. So anyway, he ends up right there, and he was annoyed, not even just about the Gamba, but because he wanted to, uh, he wanted to play Smite all the time, dude. Nobody, all of y'all, Smite, I, I think Andre's been pretty cool about it, but all of y'all hate fucking Smite, or uh, any other game that isn't Roblox. So when I was kind of getting like 15 to 20 to even 30 people on stream, it was kind of like, dude, like... Smite sounds cool right now, but I'm not, like, everybody in the party, they couldn't talk up to him, because he talked to everybody like garbage, uh, wanted to play the Roblox game anyway. So it was like everybody but him wanted to play Roblox. Yeah. Well, he, he, um, he was the only person that really wanted to even play Smite. Everybody else in the party wanted to play, uh, Roblox. But he was devaluing their vote in the matter because they're they're younger. Dino is younger. I, despite all them were underage, like they they they're kids to us adults. So he devalued their opinion and what they wanted because we're adults. So it was to him it was like convince me and we go because Dino will follow and if Spike doesn't come who cares? And I was sitting there like. My chat wants me to play Roblox. My two other friends want to play Roblox. And I don't, I, I'm cool with playing it right now. Like, I'm staying on Roblox, dude. Like, I'll play it again tomorrow. But because his time is very sacred and precious to him because he has to go to work and stuff like that, which I've done for people. When Spike has baby noises, I would be like, all right, well, you have school tomorrow and baby noises. It's Dino, same thing. I'd be like, guys, I'll put off the stuff that I need to do for stream for you. Because you don't have a lot of time. I understand that. And then, with Pointless, it was the same thing. You have work tomorrow. I'll play whatever you want to play. Even if sometimes I they'd be like, I don't know what I want to play. But it's definitely not the thing that you, you should be streaming right now. So they'd actually be going against uh, what I should be doing. Until eventually I pick back up on Steam. Anyway, though. After he jetted, it was just me and the kids. And, um... So, this took a while, but eventually, uh, Z came back, and it was Z, the kiddos, and what was happening was Spike's schedule was getting worse and worse and worse, to the point where he was barely getting on at all. So, it was mainly just me and Gold, and occasionally Dino. Because Dino, it, Pointless actually gave me, like, 20 subs to get Dino banned for, like, a couple weeks, which I welcomed back. But I was like, dude, it's for the money, man. Like, understand, I don't even actually hate you. Even if he does, it's a lot of subs. I don't want him to make him feel like his money is worthless here. Like, I'm going to take the L with stream. Just come back nicer, dude. We're still friends. Uh, like, which is kind of sell out. But it was like, he already subbed to me. So it was like, kind of like, I probably should. And Dino took the L. This is why I don't, this is why I don't give Dino too too hard of a shit on it but 
after that situation kind of happened, it was just kind of him, like, it was just kind of Golden Dino and I, with an occasional guest appearance from Spike, and, uh, okay, eventually, we played a game called a One Piece game, some of you might have played it, alright, I got a Phoenix Awakened, with help, of course, and, uh, and, uh, Spike, I think, got light or dough or something. And we were vibing on that. And eventually, a man named Rum Tug Tugger joined uh, our game. And it was kind of like a conflict with interest between Rum Tug Tugger, who's, who's friends with Gold and O-Cat and their gang. So it was like Gold, O-Cat, Rummy, with Giga Simp and shit like that. Like, uh, all these, like, weirdos, dude. But Gold's, like, lumped in with them. And it's kind of like, Gold's a piece of shit. But he's our friend. So we let a lot of shit slide. And then... But he hangs out with weirdos. But he likes the weirdos. Right? Stuff... TOS stuff. Like, stuff that is like, dude, bro, stop. And he's kind of like, but I like it. Right? So he's doing that stuff. And he's flaming Spike for basically being homophobic. And I was just like... Spike is not homophobic. Spike is jealous of your guys' shit, and he's throwing jabs at your guys' relationship. Whatever petty stuff happened in Fortnite, of all things, isn't enough to jeopardize a friendship between friends. And it was really, Gold hates Spike, and he's just looking for reasons to hate him, and he was using Runny. So it was really like all the bad shit was being put on to Runny, but it wasn't, but it was actually all Gold. Right? And it got to the point where Gold was starting to ghost. Runny left. Oh, O-Cat was being weird. I don't know. We, we would just get on every day or whatever. And he would just be like, I hate Spike. I hate when Spike laughs. Like, I just hate him. Right? That would, that would be it. He would just hate Spike. That was it. That was the whole thing. Like, you can ask Andre. It would just be like, Gold hates Spike. That's it. Gold to Lamo. That's it. And it was like a whole, like, uh, political economy thing because Gold had, like, an ass on a Robux and he would buy them shit on Robux. On Roblox. He would buy them shit on Roblox. And they were basically, like, fighting over the sugar daddy, dude. Like, that's how weird it was, okay? And it was like, who, who's Gold gonna pick? The guy that doesn't really want his Robux, that he likes it when he spends it on him? Or the people that really want his Roblox... That are sexually attracted to him. And and want the same thing. Oh yeah, it got weirder. I know with delay, it got it sounded even weirder than that. I know with delay, you just gotta hit with even more weird shit. Okay. Anyway. For me, it's just kind of scuffed. All of it. Oh, let me get involved here. Because I hadn't popped an errand in a minute. Yo, this Kuma is gonna get by. He had a lot of L. I don't think anybody's paying attention. I know I hadn't been. Um. I really hope they hit him. Anyway, uh, so after Gold and them leave or whatever, or after that whole falling out happens, it's basically like R Runny can't show face in my chat room because everybody's rooting against them. They're like, this guy's kind of a piece of shit for what he's doing to like a little kid. So with the crowd against them, that's how, that's how sheep a lot of these people are when like a crowd of people is like against their take, uh... He, he kind of starts being like, okay, I'll forgive Spike. Even though he knows Spike kind of like wrong for what he's doing. And, uh... And, um, basically everything's calm or whatever. But after, like, the smoke clears, Gold's just kind of like, I'm exhausted from what happened. And if I had to guess, Runny just chewed his ass out for what happened. Right? Because he didn't think it was right. Even though I said Gold was the villain. 
I I was just like, gold is the villain here. It is not running cube. It is fucking gold. Gold's the guy that's pulling all the strings here, guys. That's what I was saying. And but they still went after running because running is running. You, you you can't be like weird on the internet and not expect people to kind of chew your ass out. Uh, but anyway, um, because of this gold being a mod of my stream, he started ghosting me, which it's annoying when Zeke does it. Go Toasty did it for a while. When Spike, when they come back with an excuse, it's kind of fine, but it's like, yeah, when gold, my, my actual mod started to ghost me, it was kind of like, uh, bro, you're, you told me that when I gave you this job, right, or this internship, that I could treat you like you're my employee. He said he actually wanted that, okay? And when he was, like, not doing an efficient job, I was just kind of like, yo, what's going on? Like, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. Like, are, are you good? Because at the time, his mother was uh, recovering from an eye surgery that she just did after getting a breast removal surgery. Uh, like, all within the same weeks. So I guess she just wanted to be sick for, like, an actual month. Try to tackle it all at once. And, uh... After she did that stuff... Uh, he was kind of, like, having to basically come over to her and take care of all the dogs in the house and, uh, uh, you know, get her water and food and stuff like that. And it was kind of like, I was just like, yo, dude, like, I was just like, dude, you're not really taking my thing seriously anymore. And, uh... And then not only that, you can get nothing but, like, unpleasant to be around. Even though we're, like, nothing but nice to you. So it's kind of like, what's going on? Like, talk to me. And he was just like, nothing. I just don't want to be around any of you right now. And I was just like, alright. That's, that's fine. And then I take, I do this. I take moderate, like, moderator from him. And I'm like, enjoy the vacation. I was just like, come back whenever. But... You, you don't want to be around me. You're talking to me pissy in DMs. You're talking to me pissy in real life. It, and and I, I just have the impression that you're just being a bum. Because he was he had a personal DoorDash. He, he got all the Robux you could ask for. Like, he was kind of living it good. And the second, like, reality hit him a little bit, he was kind of, like, depressed. And he was taking it out on us. And I put my foot down. So, after I put my foot down, I just go, if you don't say anything, like, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave my Discord, too. Like, if you don't have anything to say for yourself, sure. I was just like, you're, you're just gonna have to go, dude. And then, I was just like, I'm editing videos, because I don't have time for this shit. Because I had to edit videos and go to work. After doing, like, a 13-hour stream or something. After a 5-hour earlier that day. I got, like, no sleep. Because we were grinding All-Star at the time. And he was ghosting us. And, uh, yeah. So, he, um... He, he, he DMs this, like, last, like, strong arm thing that makes it seem like he's right. And I'm the bad guy and all this other stuff. And then he leaves on his own anyway. So, I'm like, I guess he just wanted to get the last word in. Good riddance. Right? Either, either he's completely relieved... And he says it's us is the reason for his problems. And now that he's not around us anymore, his life is now on track, right? Which is the perfect world, perfect scenario that's thinking like him, which is a fucking sheep mentality, very dumb mentality. You can't blame people for the reasons why you're sad. You have to blame yourself. Like, if you're surrounding yourself again around toxic people, I can get it. But if you're letting that toxicity get in you, that's your weak mental, dude. So... It was really like, okay, hopefully his plan works out. As a friend of an old friend of his, I hope things work out with him. I also hope things worked out with Toasty with his gambling, Zeke with his new PC because he wants to get in competitive, uh, pointless with the stock market. I, of course, hope all these people work out with their things, even though I'm questioning all their logic. Toasty with all the people that he interacts with. Like, I hope them well. 
when they do ghost me and do this bullshit. But it's kind of like, yeah, uh, that's, that's how it is. And uh, when Gold finally chose that route, the other thing it could have been is, let's say he finally is rid of us, right? So he's finally rid of us and we're the problem. Or we're not even actually the problem. It's actually just him. Uh, then all the people that he's around now are going to pick up that the dude's toxic. Now, I will say the people that he's around actually kind of get off on him being toxic to other people. So they, they're, they're probably their dicks hard or from him walking on their faces and stuff. But that's beside the point. Uh, I don't know where my other Jojo is. Is he on like a bridge or something? Oh, here he is. So, gold leaves. Okay? Fine. Alright? Then that leaves just Dino and Spike. And I'm like, ooh. Pointless left. Spike left. I mean, uh, pointless left. Gold left. Gold was kind of Spike's favorite. Like, uh, Spike kind of sent for gold. So, I was just like, I think... I, I was just like, I think Dino and Spike are gonna leave, too, after this. We were playing King Legacy. I got the mask. If you guys don't know what it is, it's just a rare drop. And I was just like, yeah, I actually think you two are going to be gone pretty soon as well. Like, I'd put money on it. I actually think it's not going to be too long. Because you guys are going to think I made the right cho the wrong choice with gold. Like, you're not going to think I'm right. You always go against what I say. Which is just true. All of them thought I was wrong from the get-go and everything. So... Spike's like, nah, but he gets even busier. And Dino's just like, I'm still talking to Gold. And I'm like, okay, well, Dino's kind of like in a truce with Gold. And he's telling him, telling, not telling us something he knows. So he seems like the informant. And then Spike seems like the person more loyal to Gold. So I was just like, it's probably going to be Dino Spike, but it could go either way. And then, uh, like I said, Spike gets busier and busier. And, uh, it's a point where he's, like, never on. Like, he's on maybe 30 minutes a day. Or he's getting on, and he's just like, I'm too tired to play. Like, he's going to the gym, he's doing this and that and the other. And he's just hanging out with other people in real life, like, super often. And I'm like, alright, well, I guess this isn't working. And it's just me and Dino. A lot. Alright? So after it's just me and Dino a lot, uh, Dino doesn't break his promise or nothing... Uh, but Spike starts to kind of get jealous because Dino's becoming kind of like the new favorite, even though Spike's a Discord mod. And then I start to press Spike because I didn't just hate gold for his shit. Spike's never around. And I'm like, Spike, dude. Uh, and at the time, my computer was like kind of short circuiting. I was like, Spike, uh, where you been at? And he kind of gives me like a bullshit thing every time. But let's just ignore that. Let's just ignore it. And I get a new PC, what you guys are viewing my stream on right now. I get two monitors, a desktop. Caleb helps me set it up, okay? It was actually an IRL, a, like, best friend thing. Like, I went, I was, like, the best man in his wedding. Like, that's just... Uh, it's an online compared to IRL friends. You guys know how it is. Like, if you have an IRL friend, sometimes the stuff that they can do because they're actually around you or the stories that you've had as childhood just pale in comparison to any like online thing that you did i'm not saying that's indefinite and permanent but i will say that i still keep in touch with this person since like middle school and i'm grown now so it's kind of like it doesn't seem like either one of us are going anywhere anyway though um where's jojo there he is anyway though he helps me set it up okay and now i have a computer i'm learning it Spike's never around anyway. And I'm like, it's probably better we use Discord. Alright? I was just like, I will install the Xbox app. But for right now, my mom's email, because my Xbox was made when I was a fucking middle schooler. And my email was my mother's email. So getting it on the computer to do the download Xbox app was scuffed. Alright? And I was like, guys, just give me time. Just take the L with the Discord. I'll get it downloaded. And then I'll be on the app. I will still play Xbox games. This isn't something you need to fucking worry about. Just take the L, okay? They don't take the L, but a few days, okay? But a few days. And uh, eventually it gets to the point where spike gone. Like, Spike is no longer basically with us, kind of. 
Okay, he like he's not he's not gone gone, but he's just like he's just ne never around. Okay, and I'm like I'm like I, I don't know what you're doing, bro. But uh, I, I like dude, I'm just like I don't know what you're doing, dude. But uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to take it from you. Like, you're never on anymore. I have no idea where you are. Like, he wouldn't respond to DMs. I'm like, like, the first time I heard him respond in forever was, uh, he basically said, uh, I was just like, dude, I have, I was just like, dude, you gotta respond. Like, like, I don't know where you're at, but you gotta answer me, dude. I haven't heard from you in days. He's just like, like, what, or K or something like that. And I'm just like, yeah, I think I have to take disc or, or moderator from you. And he's just like, yeah, I agree. Like, he basically was just like, yeah, I agree. I haven't really been in stream. I understand. I was just like, okay. Oh, that fixed itself. That that was kind of like a tough dis Like, I didn't say all this, but I was sitting there like, that was kind of a tough decision for me. But if he's agreeing with me, that makes me think that he's just bored of doing this. And he doesn't... And, and, and losing the... Uh, the thing, even though both him and Gold beg for it, isn't a big deal. So you have Gold being like, I'm done with this, even though he begged me for it. And you have Spike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and then you have Spike not giving a shit about it. And they're both never around anymore, right? Spike never wants to play what I want to play. Like, he, dude, he's just trying out the next new baby game, dude. Like, he was playing... He, he The last game he asked me to play was the demo. Yo, bro, guys... I know we live in a very fast era right now, but the demo to Who's Your Daddy, and I was sitting there like, I am above demos, dude. Like, I know these games aren't genuinely long, but Andre, you've seen it at least. Uh, the games I play get are, are 30 minute sessions, okay? 30 minute sessions, and they get close to 100 videos, okay? 30 minute sessions. Mine have almost 40 hours of gameplay. I have transcended demos. When when you got to play a demo of a game, like I, I this is boomer stuff incoming, but when when you your poor ass have to play a demo, dude, and, and that was a big thing for two for him as well as finances were becoming like an issue that would affect us even though it was his ass of having the financials, not us. Damn, these boats are relentless. What is going on? Who called the fucking boat express, man? But yeah, it was like it got to the point. Yeah, dude, it, dude. If you look, if you played a demo of a game, right? Look, I, it's fine if you have financial struggles, dude. But if you put, if you on your own were playing a demo of a game, right? It was like, I want to check this game out, right? It wasn't. This is my new game of the week. This was. I want to check this game out. That's all it was. Okay? You play the first level. It tickles your balls a little bit. And then you, it, because it came out before the game actually released, it was just like, I can't wait for that game to come out. If you even touch the demo. Dude, these waves are ridiculous. I think we lose now. Anyway, I was just like, yeah, dude, I'm good on the demos, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, Yeah, okay, that's fine. You guys can like your demos or whatever. The point is... Is I was just like, yeah, I don't want to be the daddy and you're the baby, dude. I don't want to... That's kind of weird. No, bro. He wanted to play Who's Your Daddy? And I'd already seen, like, Game Grumps play that with, like, Rubber Ross, like, a couple years ago. Like, I was just like, this is such a bad... Like, it's just going to be Spike running away as the baby as I try to get him. And then... Finding some cheesy way to make this, like, not fun. Like, I was just like, this isn't great. And I even, un I installed Fall Guys, dude. Like, I, I, I installed the games they wanted to play, but they wouldn't hit me up to play them. So it got to the point where I was just installing shit to not play it. And they also got this, like, misconception with me. That because, it, it, it literally was, like, in this order. The Xbox Series X, I think. Or no, it was Xbox One. And then it was the Xbox Series X. On the One, I couldn't install things, okay? I couldn't install things. So it was kind of like when uh, when something happened, 
right? Like, if I wanted to install a game, it was just like, this actually kind of fucking sucks. So I don't even want to install it. I'm just going to stay on my free game. So it wasn't a big deal that I sat on Roblox all the time. Or if I sat on, uh, what's it called? Or Smite. Because it was kind of like, we're only going to play two games because Muffin can only play two games. And it worked for Spike in them because Spike didn't have money. Worked for Dino because none of them can afford to get games. It's up to their parents. So, this eventually caught up. Yeah, it wouldn't download at all, dude. It would break my Xbox. I would have to factory reset the shit. And they understood at the time, but then they got less and less forgiving because they thought I would just... They turned it into, I can't download shit, to when I actually could. I was like, oh shit, that's right. I can download whatever I want now. It's actually not even that big of a deal. I don't really like doing it, but I can do it. I can download whatever. I got, like I said, I got Fall Guys. I could do the Fortnites. I could do whatever. But they weren't really used to me doing all that. So they kind of were like, this guy's kind of an old head. He only likes to play like what he wants to stick his head in or whatever. So if we find something new, hide it from him. Because he's going to rip into it. And it's literally like, okay, first off, I'm allowed to have an opinion on things I think are shit. I just dug into Devil as a Part-Timer. Like, it happens, right? Everybody has their dumbass opinion. But it was really like, it was getting to a point where they were kind of like appearing offline and it was just like they're hiding from me so when i eventually got a hold of them you can go back to the whole notifications looking at you thing right when it got to that point i was kind of like guys i know you're hiding from me because even if you appear offline on on xbox i can see your ass on roblox because Roblox, you can't stay hidden. So I'd see the baby games that they were playing. So it's just like, damn, y'all are hiding from me. Because it was like... You, you have to think of it like this. We were playing every day. For like 10, 12 hours. Them playing with other people or even alone was a, was actually kind of weird. Like, it was actually kind of like... Uh, do you want to be alone? Like, what is going on? Or did you make some friends or whatever? And usually whoever they made friends with were like, actually cringe. And if it wasn't cringe, they wanted to be alone, but they weren't vocal about it. So it was kind of like, oh, didn't know you wanted to be alone. My bad. Like with everybody. So anyway, after I took the moder moderator from him, um, uh, Dino and I were talking about One Piece. Like we're just vibing, dude. No lie. We're just vibing, talking about One Piece. Spike hasn't been a mod for months. Um, we were vibing, guys, and talking about One Piece, okay? Dino and I just in an Xbox party for a rare chance instead of Discord to be comfortable for him. And, um... Oh, can we get the 60? I think we lose. Dang, we didn't hit 60. So close to 60, dude. If only I had better units. Yo, guys, if I actually had a mythic... Oh, teleport fail. What? If I actually had a mythic, dude, I think we could have hit 60, dude. Help! Help! 